Good morning, aviators. This is your captain's... No, I'm only joking. Guys, it's Mike. How you doing? I can't do an American accent. Hope you're enjoying the videos. Today's video is going to be another Top Gun related video off the back of the last video, which was the Dark Star conspiracy. Guys, it's all a bit of fun. Just having a laugh with you guys. Have a look at that video. See what you think. Give me your thoughts. It's all about having fun within the community and just having some light-hearted discussions. So I'll put a link to that. Have a look at that video. Tell me what you think. And then I'll probably watch that first before you watch this video. Uh, but we're going to fly the Dark Star today. So quick brief one for you if you don't know what it is. Uh, the Dark Star is an experimental aircraft. It's fictional for the, the film Top Gun Maverick. However, look at my last video. Was it fictional or not? We don't know. Um, but uh, it does Mach 10. Tom Cruise Maverick got to Mach 10 in this aircraft in the film. So that's what we're going to do. The challenge is to get to Mach 10. I think we can do it. Uh, it's not easy from what I'm told. But we, you can do it if you go through the right steps. And I'll guide you through them when we go in. Right. So we're going to be flying from Armitage Airfield, which is China Lake on the map. Uh, Armitage Airfield, bit of brief history, it's a US Navy research airfield, I guess they did a test flying from here, and it was called Armitage Airfield after, Le well, I say Lieutenant, but it's a Lieutenant, Lieutenant John Armitage, who was killed while testing there. So, let's click on this, and let's go into it, so um, here we go. So as you can see here, uh, this gives you the brief pattern of how to achieve the Mach 10. So we're gonna go up to about 0.9 Mach here, uh, invert the aircraft and go all the way up to Mach 3. Then from Mach 3, enable the scramjets, boom, Mach 10, and then into land. But I very much doubt I'm gonna to get to land it in this video, I think it will take too long. And we'll do that for another video. So here we are, China Lake, Armitage Airfield. So looks very similar to the vi 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 but I can't get my words out here. Looks very similar to the movie. And uh, look at that aircraft. Absolutely stunning. I uh, love the Dark Star. I'd love to see it one day. It's on tour all around. So you can see it. It's actually a physical aeroplane prop. You can see on the side it's got US Navy. I don't know why the US Navy would want this type of plane. But guys, put your comments down below. Let me know. What would you do? Right, there's a few things I want to cover in here. And also, I want to talk about the ejection seat as we're looking at it here. So we've got the, the ejection handles on the side. I think they're manual override handles. We've got the main ejection le uh, pulley lever in the center. And now, Mach 10 is a very, very dangerous speed to eject at. But Maverick did it somehow. I don't know how. I thought, is it a pod? But from what you can see where the mouse is going now, that is the rocket motor for the ejection seat which indicates the ejection seat probably comes out of the aeroplane so i don't know how you ejected at mach 10 was it a canopy was it a full cockpit ejection or was it a, a seat ejection i think we need to have a discussion on this we'll do this in another video uh, but let's get back into the cockpit uh, get ready get set up to take off so here we go testing the aeroplane got full movement And we're going to increase the engine speed. Here we go. Engines at 40, 50%, 60%, 70%. And we're off. We're going to enable afterburners as well. And here we go. Let's go for outside the cockpit so you can see. Afterburners enabled. You can see the flames coming out the back. You have to take off at around about 200 knots in this. Went up easily at 260 knots, took off itself. It seems to have an auto trim on it as well, so whatever you point it, that's the way it will stay. Uh, and let's retract the landing gear. There we go. So we're climbing now. True airspeed is at 400 knots. That's the TAS at the bottom. Okay, we're climbing up to 0.74 Mach now. Look at this, though, it's really cool. So you've got the, you can see the ground below you on the screen. Uh, I wonder how this would compare to a real cockpit of one of these. 
I wonder how much more is in there. I guess most of it now will be all on LCD displays, just like the new F35s and the F22s and stuff. Right, we're climbing an altitude. We're at 25,000 feet, 26, 27. So it climbs quite fast. It's got a rapid rate of climb. Very easy to fly. One of, one of the easiest planes I've flew on Microsoft Flight Simulator, to be honest. So, what are your thoughts? If you've got any thoughts on the Dark Star, put it in the comments down below. I know pilots used to call these planes when they were flying the SR-71, the three-second planes. I mean, every three seconds, you've got to be looking down into your cockpit, looking at your dials, looking at what everything displays. You've got your engine temperature on the left-hand side there. Uh, we'll look at that a bit closer later on. Right, we're at Mach 0.83. So if anyone doesn't know, that means we're at 0.83, the speed of sound. So we need to get to Mach 1, and that will break, or get just beyond Mach 1, and that will break at the sound barrier. Our altitude now is 38,000 feet. Right, here we go. We're going to invert the aeroplane now and watch the Mac indicator at the top. We're at 0 0.81. You're supposed to do this about 99, but I uh, I couldn't wait any longer. So let's see. Look at the Mac increasing. Here we go. We're going to go supersonic. Done. There we go. Uh, I'm going to bring the aircraft back around in a second. And there we go. The Mac should still increase now. So we're going to go to. I want to get to three, Mac three now. That's the aim. It should go come pretty fast. Here it comes. So we're halfway there. I'm going to keep the plane. I'm going to take up to about ten degrees. No more than ten degrees. Just under 10 at the moment. Max still increasing, but we've got a good steady climb. Right, let's fast forward this a little bit. So we're just going to go through the clouds here. Look at the outside of the plane. It's really cool. Looks really smart. Very low radar cross section. Very thin wings. Um, so this would be a very stealth aircraft. It's all black as well. So in that radar absorber paint. Although I thought that was grey now, so guys, let me know what you think on that. What? Why black? Here we go. We're going to hit Mach 3 now. Have a look at the Mach counter at the top. There we go. We've hit Mach 3. We're going to hit the scramjet at the bottom, and then we're going to flick the switch, and you will just see this plane accelerate now. go back four now four times the speed of sound so give this put this into perspective 
the SR71 did a max speed of 3.3 and went out 4.94 so we've got faster than the fastest aeroplane in the world Max 6 now, so we've doubled the speed of the SR 71. Max 7. Max 8. Max 9. Come on, we're going to hit Mac 10. Oh, look at the altitude, 219, 120,000 feet. We're pretty much in space. We're in space. We're in space now. Two hundred and fifty thousand feet. So I'll show you outside the cockpit in a minute. But pretty much, we are in space now. Literally, we are. I think the the, the classification of space is three hundred thirty thousand feet. But we're, we're pretty much there. If you look up, there's not much else you'll see. There we go. Look at this. We're glowing red with the heat. So. Mach 10 is like 7,000 miles an hour and that's the whole the, the friction on that aeroplane you would be able to cook an egg you'd be able to cook a steak on that when it lands on the floor so we're nearly in space 275,000 feet in the air it's pretty much space I found it really difficult to control the aeroplane I don't know so guys anyone that does know this right so I've noticed when we trying to control the aeroplane while we're at this height, the elevators don't work or the aerolongs don't work. What would be controlled in there? Would it have some sort of air shooting out the sides of it or, or how, how would it, the thrust of the exhaust, what, what would, how would you maneuver it at this height? Uh, let me know. Um, Put it in the comments down below. Look, we can see the moon there. Look at that. Oh, guys, and the earth is round. There you go. There's your proof. Spherical earth, not flat. Let me know what you think. Guys, I'm going to call it a day here. That is it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll leave you with some more dark star clips from the movie. I hope you enjoyed the video. And remember, like, subscribe, click that notifications, and uh, put as many comments as you want. Guys, see you later. Take care.